What's up guys, welcome back to my Oka channel as usual. In today's video, I'm going to teach you three simple exercises that will guarantee to help you improve your tone. Now before we get into these exercises, I'm going to give you a quick disclaimer here. These exercises will only work if you practice them with the right mindset and awareness. If you just play through these on autopilot without really focusing your brain on the right things, you're just going to be wasting your time. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So in order for these exercises to be really effective, you're going to have to be hyper aware and really focused. If you really focus intensely, you don't really need to practice these for very long. I would say about 10 minutes of really focused practice every day should be more than enough. The best time to do these will be at the very beginning of your practice session. They are also really good exercises to help you warm up. Okay, so the first exercise is super easy and it's very simple. I actually find the simpler the tone exercise is, the more challenging it is. Start on your middle B and play long tones and chromatics descending first. Now, the key things to focus here are to make your tone as consistent as possible, as even as possible, and as sweet as possible. There are actually sweet spots for every note that you play. Observe and see which note you play the best and which one has the best tone, and then try to match your other notes to it. For example, for me, my best note is probably either a G or an F, so I can start by playing either one of those notes, listen to it, and then try and match my other notes. After you finish the descending version of the exercise, then you go back up to middle B and then start the ascending version. The second exercise is kind of similar to the first one, but with a few modifications to make it more interesting. And then go up the octave. Again, try to be consistent in your tone. You'll need to be really strict with yourself and be actively listening while you play. All of these notes should be equal and have the same tone. We don't want any variations on the tone quality or the volume. As you move through the phrase, keep your air flowing to make sure that one note flows smoothly into the other. The last exercise is probably the most exciting one. For this exercise, let's start on the lower note this time. Go up in chromatics like what I just did until you can't go any higher. This exercise is not only good for improving tone, but also working on octaves as well. The key is to make a perfect arch in the phrase and to make it as connected and as smooth as you can. So all of these exercises should be done slowly and not quickly. If you speed through them, you're not going to be able to focus on your tone quality. Make sure you try these out, I'm sure you'll see results after some time. If you like this video, you can find me on Patreon as well. I offer one-on-one -on -one help, so make sure to check it out down below. Also, make sure to watch my other tutorials right here. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notifications. That's it. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.